Good morning. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about ARIA, the Access Management Platform. ARIA was developed by Instra Eric, the Structural Biology Research Infrastructure in Europe. Um, and it was developed internally to provide access to research uh, facilities and manage um, visits uh, to those facilities. Uh, but it has proven very useful both to instruct and the wider life science community. And it's now being provided uh, beyond life sciences as well. ARIA is a cloud platform. It offers a range of services to research infrastructures and it has been dubbed as the Office 365 for research infrastructures. And it's being used currently uh, by five RIs and 14 uh, European Commission funded projects. So what is ARIA? As I said, ARIA is an access management platform, but it does many other things as well. Uh, it provides, it is based around four main pillars and provides access management, facility management, data management, and community tools. It actually looks a lot more like this. Uh, the details on the slide is not, is not terribly important, but to give you, it just gives you some idea of the uh, facilities or the, the functionality built into ARIA in these various different sections. We have messaging system, GDPR messaging. Uh, we have booking calendars and training levels. We have machine workflows. We have a login system. Uh, we have APIs. We have community tools uh, for building their own websites. We have mailing lists and many more features as well. It's constantly growing based on our needs. So, what would, be, what would managing a proposal be uh, without ARIA? Well, we had this experience early on in, in uh, Instruct, which is why we built ARIA. First of all, we have to open the call, and that means it means advertising the call with open through uh, word of mouth. Uh, submission is often through PDF or Word document or email, which easily gets lost. Reviewers are assigned to, with spreadsheets, communication is manual, uh, decision is noted on spreadsheets, which can get inc inconsistent very quickly. Visits tracking, uh, when, when the researcher goes out for a visit, it's all arranged by email and spreadsheets and the progress is very hard to monitor. And of course, statistics and reporting is a very much a manual process. This is insecure, error-prone, and not terribly scalable at all. So, managing a proposal with ARIA. You open a call where um, a re research can pick from a uh, customizable service catalog. Um, the submission form is customizable, and it can be published in news articles, etc., etc. A user makes an application, again, through a customizable uh, application form. Uh, they select their service, they select the research infrastructure they want to go to, they select the machine. Um, review, so the uh, a, a moderator is assigned, and this moderator assigns reviewers based on their expertise, which they can clearly see, and they conduct scientific and technical review. Uh, this decision is uh, based on a customizable form. The, the uh, decision is uh, automatically recorded and uh, notifications are sent, reminders are sent, so people are kept kept in the loop, kept, then the, the proposal is kept moving. User goes out to see a project or goes out to uh, visit. Um, and uh, yeah, the, uh, this, can, this is conducted all in the platform using our GDPR uh, messaging system. So it's all secure, kept in one place, no matter where, whether you know, staff coming and going. Uh, the user and facility can give feedback to improve the services. And then we have statistics and reporting, 
These include user statistics, proposal statistics, how, how effective the uh, reviewers were. Um, we can generate reports, including H2020 reports and other stuff as well. So in summary, this is all secure and automated and it's user-friendly and scalable. This is practical for running large transnational access projects. IRI is used by more than 13,000 users right now. And this includes researchers, moderators, administrators, facility managers, and more. IRI is provided to five research infrastructures and four national facilities currently, and this list is growing. It's a proven tool um, that is being used uh, increasingly outside of the life, life sciences and is constantly in development and growing in features. And uh, we hope to bring out some more exciting stuff as well through our project involvement with EU projects. As I said, we're currently being used by 14 EC funded projects right now, and this list is growing. So in summary, IRA is a single point platform, cloud platform that offers a hub of research infrastructure features to users and research infrastructures, streamlined proposal submission, and in addition to instruct actively using it, this is how we do our day to day, run our day to day operations. Uh, it is used by other RIs and EU projects, and it's constantly growing. 